Hello everyone, this is Christopher Brown and this is my work in progress ePortfolio for ETD 624. Uh, the purpose of my ePortfolio is to hopefully obtain a job in my school district's technology department, particularly as a media specialist. The media specialist job is to teach technology, technology skills, software, programs, coding to all students K through 6. So my artifacts and my website is tailored to a portfolio for applying for that position in the school district where I currently teach, hence the headline implementing technology to improve student achievement. From the home page, you can go to the about me. Again, it's still a work in progress. I haven't found a picture to put here yet. A little background on my career as a teacher, my post or my pre-graduate work as well as the two types of teacher that I am. Not only an elementary teacher, but a martial arts instructor. Just a very simple explanation of some of my background and experiences. If you go to over to qualifications, you can use the drop down menu to get to my resume or my certifications and recommendations. Or if you click on qualifications itself, there are also links there because in Weebly you cannot make these as far as I know I'm still working on it making these not necessarily buttons just headings for a drop-down menu so these buttons will allow the person to navigate easily regardless of which path they take so my resume right now is just a link to a Word document I am gonna change it over to a PDF I did contemplate and I'd be interested what all of you think about putting it in a scribed window the question that I'm having is what do I link and what do I have in a scribed window? I feel if I put everything in scribed windows where it's right there open, when you get to the page, the person viewing it is going to kind of be overflowed with information as opposed to just looking at what they want to see when they want to see it. So as of right now, this is this will just open in a Word doc eventually also into a PDF, but I'm curious what everyone thinks again about putting them all in scribed windows because I want to keep the design simple. I don't want to overflow the person viewing the page. Uh, also in qualifications, you can go over to my certifications and recommendations, picture of my teaching certificate. Right now I only have one letter of recommendation. I chose this one specifically because it was from a long-term position I held as a media specialist. I plan on adding more letters of recommendation to this page and again possibly putting them in scribed windows but I wanted to have at least one and this one seems like the best fit obviously because it was for the job I had and the job I would like to have again. Going over to technology, three aspects of technology for my portfolio in the classroom so how I'm utilizing it. Health effects of screen time was my literature review and others master's coursework. Again, either going to the technology main page or using the drop down menu. So in the classroom, here are some things that I've made for our program while utilizing them specifically for my classroom. So this will take you to a website I created to give my students practice for my first geography unit for social studies, video links to videos that they can watch, games that they can play, what the assignment is. They can actually print the, sh the worksheet off of here. So basically all the information that I normally use in class, they have access to online. So I set this up as an online instructional unit so I could work with my normal curriculum this particularly isn't, but it's necessary information to, for them to work through the normal fifth grade social studies curriculum. So they can go online to Mr. Brown's geographypractice.weebly, go to all of the different practices. They have two weeks to complete it, and when they're done, I will give them the final assessment. They can email me any questions that they have, and this will go right to my school email. I made that for one of our courses, but it's something I've used in my, in my classroom. Um, my instructional design unit from ETD 543 I've also used in the classroom because this is one of my final units of social studies for the year so this will take you to the YouTube Hello, video everyone. presentation 
that I went through the process of developing the unit, what the objectives were, and everything in regards to that, which I think someone interviewing me for a position would want to see because it shows that I'm taking the time to create the objectives, make my process, and go th through everything for the unit to develop it fully. Using technology would be something that would make sense for a technology teacher or a media specialist. So I intend on adding more artifacts, but again, it's just a work in progress. Go to my literature review. For my literature review, I chose to look at the effects of screen time in children. The main reason for me wanting to research this topic was we have responsible use policies or acceptable use policies when dealing with technology and technology use. However, none of them have time restrictions on them, which I find interesting because the American Physicians Association says that children should have more than or no more than two hours of screen time a day. So I was curious why that didn't exist on any of those acceptable use policies. So why I wanted to do some research to see, well, when those use those time usages or those time intervals are gone over, what are some of the things that can happen? So that's what I chose to do my literature review on. And I think as a media specialist, as a technology teacher, it's important that you understand, yes, you're teaching the students how to use technology appropriately, but they should, they should understand that it shouldn't be something that's used all day, every day, sitting down, being sedentary in front of a screen. They should utilize it, but they should utilize it appropriately. Going into other master's coursework, the two artifacts that I've chosen for my ePortfolio so far is another Weebly I've created, Board Builder for Teachers. One aspect of a media specialist job is to do professional development for the teachers on different softwares and different technology tools that they can utilize in their own classrooms. Um, Board Builder is a service that our district pays for through our Discovery Education subscription and it allows teachers as well as students to create multimedia interactive presentation boards. So when we were in school, we'd make our poster boards or our trifold boards with pictures and information. This allows them to do that digitally. They can have links to games on their boards. They can have videos on their boards for the viewers to watch. Um, some teachers even choose to use these for assessments. They have to create a interactive board builder for a certain science or social studies unit, and it actually allows them to send it in through the teacher. So this takes them through some, tu some basic tutorials on things that they can do. So if adding to the board builder, there are slide shares that take them through the steps into completing the different aspects of board builder that they can use for themselves for instruction or use for their students as assignments or assessments. I've also included my self-defense workshop presentation from ETD 544 because it takes you through the entire process of creating a professional development workshop. So they can go through the slide share, why it was implemented, what's done prior to the workshop itself, a syllabus of the workshop, basically taking the viewer through every aspect of the professional development in a shorter way, pre-workshop evaluation, a companion website that goes along with it. Again, another aspect that shows not only the professional development aspect like the board builder for teachers Weebly, but the process of creating a full and completely developed professional development workshop. My last page is just my contact page. Again, they can just email me questions, comments, concerns about things that they have from my site or my ePortfolio. And that is about it. Thank you for viewing my presentation. I look forward to viewing yours.